Today's Morning Minute, more productive in death. Listen to these words that Jesus spoke explaining why he must die. Relate this to your own life. Do you need to die to anything? In John chapter 12, verses 23 through 26, in the Amplified Version. And Jesus answered them, The hour has come for the Son of Man to be glorified and exalted. I assure you and most solemnly say to you, unless a grain of wheat falls into the earth and dies, it remains alone. Just one grain, never more. But if it dies, it produces much grain and yields a harvest. The one who loves his life eventually loses it through death. But the one who hates his life in this world and is concerned about pleasing God will keep it for life eternal. If anyone serves me, he must continue to faithfully follow me without hesitation, holding steadfastly to me, conforming to my example in living, and if need be, suffering or perhaps dying because of faith in me. And wherever I am in heaven's glory, there will be my servant also. If, he, if anyone serves me, the Father will honor him. Think about this. We are more productive in death to this fallen world and alive to our new creation in Christ Jesus. This is a great lesson for us to learn. When we die to self and selfish desires, we become more productive. We are the most fruitful when we get out of the way and die to self. We are unproductive. We are an unproductive single seed until we die to self. True production and true fulfillment comes when we serve and recognize the death and resurrection of Jesus Christ. God's love is demonstrated on the cross in Christ Jesus. Jesus died so that, that he, we can live and enter into his presence now. We were born in sin. As born-again believers, we are reborn out of sin, paid for by the blood of Jesus Christ. We, when we come under his authority and rule, we call him Lord. With he, we have stepped down as king, and he has become Lord of all. When we die to our rights, our ownership, our title, our position, our pride, our desires, our cravings, our boasting, we are living in our new creation life, not the old nature. The old nature is gone, and the new nature has come. We have one right, which is to be like him, made in his image of love. We were never created to live apart and separated from God. We were created to live in the presence of God now and forever. He wants our lives to be productive with many seeds. He is the God of abundance, producing living life in and through us. Live life to the fullest in Christ Jesus today. Amen and amen.